right? Like, like, like I haven't played on the ladder in two months, so I'm gonna be playing great ball for this stream, and I'm just gonna try to get to master ball with Mewtwo, and that's that's just the goal. That's just the goal. So, yeah, how's everyone doing? Is the audio fine? Can you hear the game? Can you hear me? Do you want to be my friend? I'm so lonely. I'm kidding. Oh, man. It's been a while since I, like, streamed in-game content. Just because, like, on the showdown side, it's so much easier to record Series 10 stuff, you know? Than Series 8? I actually... I didn't like Series 8 too much. I was okay with it. I was like, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. Uh, Mandibuzz, I know, is actually pretty heat. So, what do we have here? Uh, I mean, I have safety goggles in Cinnaroar, so I could probably just lead off with that. But also, man, the the Mewtwo Lele leads calling my name just because I know, I know I can land a Focus Blast on that stack attack. I'm feeling it. If you're feeling it, I'm feeling it, you know? And I could go Amoongus here. Honestly, uh, for the stack attack option they have, that isn't too bad. Uh, it's also not too bad for putting the uh, for putting the Grout on to sleep, but I think Urshu might just be better overall. Let's me hit a lot of things. Go with that. Let's do it. You have to focus in real life for Focus Blast to hit. This is true. I feel like that's true. You have to like. <clears throat> You know, you have to you have to just do that. <laughs> the focus blast is uh is a quick time event, but for real life. Focus miss, am I right? Yeah, you are right. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, you are completely correct. Captain Oro Mox boosted in chat. Hope you're doing well. Hey, thank you. This is the first in-game battle I've had in a long time, at least on ladder. I mean, I've played some friendly games, but on ladder, this is my first one in a long time. Do a Jimmy Neutron brain, brain Blast to kill the stack attack. I could do that. That'd work. That's probably the way. That's probably actually the way. Incineroar Venusaur, I'm cool with it. I'm balling. Scarf Lele definitely doesn't outspeed Venusaur. I kind of have to make a call on to which one I think they're going to go for here. Because I think they're going to switch in the Groudon. That, that's really never their play, though. That straight up is not a good play. Like, if we're being real, banking on the Sleep Powder to hit is just not a good play here. Check this out. We're going we're gonna to start off this live stream with a bang. I'm going to say that. We're starting off this live stream with a bang. I am going to get this KO. If it's the last thing that I do. Behold. It's a quick time event. It's a quick time event. I got it completely right. It's a quick time event. Oh, it's a Tapu Fini. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. It's fine. Fine. Unless they didn't fake out anything, strangely enough. He's gonna fake out the Mewtwo. <gasps> it's a quick time event! He didn't fake out! Come on, Mewtwo! <laughs> I'm focusing. I'm focusing so hard on the focus blast right now. I'm focusing so hard. Told you. It's a quick time event. <laughs> you have to let the game know what's up. Goodbye. <laughs> we got it immediately. We got it immediately. Good game, sir. We're going to lose in the end, I'm sure. But we got him. I'm so happy that, that we started off with landing a focus blast. Just a hard read. If his if he's Misty Seed Groudon, I'm gonna have some questions. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I don't have Trick Room, or I don't have Protect on this guy. I could just send in the Incineroar for the Mewtwo. I mean, I am Focus Sash. I could just stay in and go for the damage. I don't think that's terrible. It's mainly just if they double into me. I don't want to lose this thing too early. Um, especially with how strong it is. Like, it's, it's pretty strong. Let's do this. I'm gonna make a double switch. There we go. Oh yeah, no, no, this game's making it into the vid regardless of if I win or not. 
I've seen some people talk about Utility, Umbrella, Urshifu for beating Groudon a bit easier, and I think that's actually really fun. I think it's a fun idea. You, the only thing is you never benefit from Rain ever again, but it doesn't really matter for a lot of matchups. White Herb, okay, that's fine. Because he protected the... Yeah, no, that's... that's I'm balling. I am balling. Icy Wind, don't care. I mean, I just came in. I can still fake out U-turn. Ooh, check this out. Fake out, get in the Lele. Fake out, get in the Lele. Oh, wait. Why did I just do that, guys? I straight up faked out and got in the Lele. This is how you know it's been a while since I played this game. This is how you know it's been a while. Marcos, why did you... Why did you think that was ever the play? Why, why did that... I was, in my mind, I was like, I'm going to get in the Lele because I can save the Urshifu. And then I'm like, wait, Psychic Train, Marcos, you're so stupid. Oh my god, please just do something stupid. Just, can we can we both have a stupid turn, my opponent? Can we both have a stupid turn, real quick? Please. I'm begging you. Can we both have a stupid turn? I mean, it's not the end of the world because I'm Scarf Lele, but I'm going to take a lot of damage here. Yeah, they're probably just like, is this guy's Moxie Booster? What? What an idiot. He just gave up his Intimidate Mom. What is he doing? Luckily, the HP on the Lele kind of saved us. Um, Kind of hoping for an Icy Wind because I might live. Not it's the Moon Blast. That's fine, though. That's fine because I have a lot of pressure this turn. I have a lot of pressure. Um, I, I don't. I don't. This is awful. I threw so hard. I lost two Pokemon. <laughs> Listen, I used all of my brain on the on the brain blast at the at the first turn of the game. I used it all. It's gone. It's it's completely gone. I'm drained. Good day. All right. Uh, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Behold. Groudon is not going to stay in it, or at the very least, it's, I mean, it wouldn't protect here. Protecting, I guess it could protect if they went for the Icy Wind, because what it would allow them to do is, um, what that would allow them to do is get the Icy Wind drop while, yeah, yeah, because they can get the Icy Wind drop on my Mewtwo and outspeed me next turn, maybe, depending on the speed. Let's see if this does enough. They can't eat berries, so if they're like Figgy Berry, they're, or not Figgy Berry, so if they're like whatever berry, they can't get it. I didn't want to close combat. I, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I thought it would do a little more. <laughs> I should have close combated though. It might have actually picked up a KO. Miss? No? Okay. I might still be faster with my Mewtwo since I'm only at minus one and this thing's got base 130. There's a chance. There is a chance. Uh, I'm just going to Expanding Force. Because that should knock out the Finny. And I'm going to Surging Strikes. I'm so dumb. I threw this game so hard. And what sucks is it's going to make the video anyways. <laughs> it's going to make the video anyways for the turn one. There's a chance. There, there, There is a chance. I mean... It depends on if Mewtwo can take a Prespice Blades or if I just end up being faster. Like, if they're a really slow Groudon, I, I probably still win. Yeah, I'm still faster. Okay. Critical hit on the Tapu Fini definitely didn't matter. Did they just high horsepower me? Sir, what? Okay, that's actually really cool. I'm, I'm going to give it to them. That's really cool, but that made... I don't, I don't get that. How many turns of sun are left? Because uh, that determines if I win or not. Dang, Marcus, you ever trap for football? You threw so hard. I used to be in wrestling because I know how to wrestle my opponent into a position where they definitely win. <laughs> like, I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be winning so hard, and then I'm like, nope, nope. Just put my shoulders down, pinned. Three seconds, I lose. Tell me sun's almost gone. Okay, one turn of harsh sunlight, I win. 
Oh wait, no, because I don't have protect. <laughs> Maybe they'll protect anyways. Maybe they'll protect anyways. Oh my god, Marcus, you freaking idiot. Um, yeah, I just, I still just double target. It doesn't matter. Forgot I don't want to protect on this Mewtwo. I dropped it for Trick Room, and it comes in clutch sometimes, but not right now. Live? I mean, maybe if I crit here, and they're slower for some reason. Ooh, they are Life Orb. If I crit this, there's a chance. Okay, if I crit the next one. Oh, I did crit it. <laughs> I did crit it, but it wasn't enough. Oh my god. Okay. I threw suit so hard and got so far. Can I live? I'm not that heavy, right? I am pretty heavy. Okay. Oh, uh, I hate myself. I hate myself for that game. I hate, I, like, there was, there was no reason for me to lose. <laughs> there was straight up no reason for me to lose that. We're going to start off the season with a bang. Right at the bottom of Great Ball tier, taking a loss immediately. But I'm still going to keep this in the video for the all right, the Neutron style, yes, of course. Hmm. It would seem that Wide Guard is my best friend in this game, but also Amoongus. Amoongus looks phenomenal. I could... I mean, Sash Mewtwo is still really good here. I can just go Mewtwo, Lele, Amoongus. I'll go Stack. I think the Wide Guard might come in clutch. What's up, Moxie? Just throwing games. Just throwing games. The usual, you know. The usual. The Neutron style. Oh, yeah. Mian Xiao is such a pain for Wide Guard. You guys want to see a power play? You want to see an actual power play? My grand prediction here, my my always correct prediction is that they will not, they will in fact not protect their Kyogre this turn, giving me a free Psy Strike. That is my grand prediction. I'm going to go Amoongus. I could have also Trick Roomed, but I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> They did protect. That's fine. Uh, I can protect my Amoongus on the next turn in Trick Room. Because they should always just go for the um, the Hurricane into Water Spout. And then I'm actually in a really good spot. I'm going to Trick Room here. Yeah, uh, I would assume they just Hurricane Water Spout and hope that that's enough. Or even Hurricane Ice Beam. I might even just take no damage on Mewtwo here. Hurricane, yep. Water spout, that's fine. That's fine. Matter of fact, what I'm going to do is take out this uh, this Tornadus. I think it's pretty safe just to go ahead and expanding force and go for like a Grass Knot into the Tornadus slot. Because regardless, I get damage on whatever goes in on the Kyogre slot, so the Water Spout won't be doing as much, and I'll be able to knock out a Sash Tornadus. They don't have terrain, right? Yeah, they, they don't have terrain. Okay, let me expanding force here. And, oh wait, I have clear smog. Which does more? Clear smog or grass not? Probably clear smog. Do that. They should get out of there with the Kyogre. Probably go into Zarina, if anything. And if they're not Sash Tornadus, I might even just pick up a KO on Zarina with clear smog. Yeah, there's the Zarina. Let's see how much we do here. This is going to be doing a ton. Why did, why did I say with Clear Smog as though it went friggin' first? Or as though Expanding Force went first. That is... Okay, it was a crit. I was going to say, that is definitely not Assault Vest. <laughs> that is definitive proof they were not Assault Vest, but no, they are. Uh, Moongus always lives us. 
Amoongus always loves that, yeah. And now I'm in a pretty good spot. I love that Citrus Berry so much. That Citrus Berry, like, just being able to always tank two of those, or tank three of those, make that three of KO is so nice. Expanding force with the janky hitbox, yeah. Dude, what are you gonna do? You don't have terrain. You don't you don't have anything for this. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna put you to sleep. That's what's gonna happen. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. I still have three turns of trick room too. What are you gonna do about this? Legitimately, what you gonna do about it? I always expanding force. I always put you to sleep. I'm sorry. That's just the way things are. That's just the way things are. Okay, first of all. <laughs> first of all. First of all. <laughs> Yeah, that terrain came in clutch. And I have two turns to take advantage of this. Their Tailwind's gone. I still have a Scarf Lele in the back. Like, we're fine. We're fine. And if they're Scarf Ogre and they lock themselves into Water Spout, I don't... I, I mean, there's no reason not to just do this. Not to just spore the Kyogre. And expanding force again, because I don't lose with Lele. Or even Psy Strike, because I'm not hitting anyways. I might as well just Psy Strike Spore. Now I'll Psy Strike Grass now. I'll get rid of you this turn. I'll get rid of you this turn. That's fine. As long as he doesn't wake up here, I still get it. Yep, still asleep. Do I have one more turn of terrain? Because that actually is kind of scary if I don't. The rain stopped. That means Psychic Terrain is also going to go down. Uh, so now my play is going to be to Psy Strike again and get in my Lele? No? No, it's not. Because their Tailwind's gone. I'm just going to put them to sleep. And get in my stack. So, the reason I'm doing this is because if they're not Scarf, which they just revealed they weren't because they have Protect, uh, in the end, like, once Trick Room's gone, I just win with Lele. Lele and, um... Lele and Mewtwo. So I just have to prepare... I, I just have to prepare for that endgame. Alright. Preparing for that endgame, I can just go ahead and Rock Slide and break the Sash on the Urshifu. We'll Grass Knot here. Actually, I can just grass not this Kyogre. Like, it doesn't matter. I'll just get rid of it. Because he doesn't KO me. Choppleberry should save me, I believe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Possibly. Perhaps. Might be stupid. Yep. So I just have to connect this rock slide and I win. Because that'll break the sash on the on the Urshifu. Which is typically what they're running right now. Solid damage there. No longer scared of Water Spout. And Rock Slide connects on Urshifu. That's just... That's always game. That's always game now. I'm going to go ahead and Gyro Ball here. I just lock my Lele into Dazzling Gleam and I win. Doesn't matter in what order I get it in. I'm fine. There's the Wicked Blow. They really don't like this Amoongus. Alright, I'll take it. Like I said, I have Scarf Lele and they're not Scarf Ogre, so I just lock myself into Dazzling Beam and I get a double KO. Gyro Ball to make sure I don't miss. Didn't matter in the end, regardless, really. And uh, what I could do... <laughs> do I throw the whole game? Do I throw the whole game? I don't. I'm just gonna go into Lele. I wanted to see if I could if I could land a Focus Blast. <laughs> I was I was for a moment considering landing a Focus Blast, but it does it. It's not worth it. I'm just gonna Dazzling Gleam or Moon Blast, I guess, because the Kyogre's off the field.
Get him Mewtwo so we can remember that he lost to this thing. And there it is. Good game. Nice. Landing Fissure is easier than landing a Focus Blast. Yes, that, that is true. All right, nice. We got we to gotta win. We did not throw that game. Despite at times seeming like we might, we did not throw that game. Actually, maybe not quite. Maybe not quite. I can lead off Mewtwo Incineroar, and that's pretty safe. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. Uh, I just have to remember not to be an idiot this game, and I'll be fine. A lot a lot easier said than done for me, if I'm going to be real with you guys. Uh, we'll go Amoongus, Tapu Lele. Or actually, Stack isn't looking bad. Stack straight up does not look bad. I might just click Rage Powder. I might just click Rage Powder Trick Room on lead. I might just do that. I'm going to click Rage Powder Trick Room like a champ. All right. Yeah, next gen, they definitely have to nerf Unseen Fist. That move is too, or that, that ability is too strong. Like with Dynamax gone, it's too strong. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. I actually don't even have to really click Trick Room. I don't think... I mean, do they have Taunt? Do they have Taunt? I can get Trick Room off for free if I do this. Just in case one of them has Taunt. Because you know you know one of these has to have Taunt. You're not running Grim Snarl and Incineroar with no Taunt on your team. And this also blocks Fake Out. Dude, I once faced Fake Out plus Taunt and Grim Snarl and I lost my mind. I was like, what is the set? <laughs> what is the set? Hey, thanks for the follow. And I can just start clicking Rock Slide. So they reflect. Did they Parting Shot me or did they Taunt? I kind of hope they Taunted. Yep, Parting Shot. I'll take it. I still get in my, my Amoongus next turn. Dracovish. I don't fear that like at all. Like like at all. Like like zero. Check this out. Check this out. Actually, Scarf Dracovish would outspeed my my thing. Is this worth it? Is this worth moonblasting, assuming that they would just attack? I really don't need Lele for the rest of the game. Even if I lose the Lele, I just get a free switch into stack, which actually isn't terrible. I'm willing to make this risk. Hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. Nice. I think they recognized um, that if I wasn't Scarf Lele, then they were in trouble. But every Lele Scarf. If you're playing this format and you see a Lele, it's Scarf. Like 99.9% .9 of the time, it's Scarf. Are you guys ready to play a game called Are You Running the Good Incineroar Item? We're going to play my favorite game. Are they running the good Incineroar Item? We have no way of telling. Let's get in the stack attack again. Peep this one. Not really. Peep this one. No more fish. <laughs> Using scope lens and cross chop. Yeah, the ideal Incineroar. The, uh, the Super Smash Brothers canon Incineroar. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little one. You're not running the good Incineroar. <laughs> I am sorry, little one. Time to click Rock Slide. No more Grimstarl. <laughs> no more Incineroar. 
No more special attack, apparently. Yeah, no, this is going to be a very, very nice rock sled. Should be a 2-8 KO on the Incineroar from this range. As they swap out, uh, Dracovish? No more Eternatus! <laughs> Let's see if they swap out the Incineroar. That makes sense. They do not. They just they just let me rock slide it. Like, obviously they have Reflect Up, but yeah, that should be close to a 2-hit KO. Matter of fact, I can definitely secure the 2-hit KO by going into... I'm tempted to go into Mewtwo. I'm actually tempted to go into Mewtwo because the fact... The fact that they are not running a uh, safety goggles means that they are likely running a berry, and it would be a figgy berry, which would mess up my calc. But I could also... Hmm... I think I just rock slide. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We'll just clear smog rock slide. I want to keep Amoongus in the field for a while. No, I just get the KO. Cool. That was either a high roll or a crit. Nope, just a high roll. Nice. Clear smog doesn't really matter here. I get the beast boost, which is awesome. Just awesome. I also still have rage powder, which means I'm going to I'm going to be doing a lot of damage. I'm going to be doing a lot of damage. Like, if the Dracovish comes in, no more Dracovish. Yeah, and I can just reset the Trick Room. Like, this is this is absolutely free. Eternus. Has it burned Eternus Sleep? Yeah, that was that was the turn it came in. So, it has burned Eternus Sleep. I just follow... I just Rage Powder Trick Room. Watch it be, like, Safety Goggles uh, Dracovish. Oh, wait. I forgot. I'm not running Rage Powder. Because I didn't think I needed it for this team. No more Mewtwo. Actually, I don't I don't even need it. I don't even need it. Yeah, I'm fine doing this. I'm fine doing this. I'm just going to go for the Gyro Ball. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't run that. Or I guess I should always just Trick Room regardless. I don't know why I'm not running Rage Powder on this. I just thought Protect would be nice. Oh, I lived. Awesome. Stack attack, absolutely broken. Yeah, and they messed up. They messed up there. No more Vicious Rend. It's not even a Pokemon. Dracovish isn't a Pokemon. It's Vicious Rend. I'm gonna put that out there. You know it's true. You know it's true. Stack attack is so crazy. The fact that it lived that. The way it just took that, handed it back, said, I have a receipt. You can have it back. I would like my money back on my vicious rend. Bulletproof should block Moonblast. That that I, I am of that opinion. And reflect, I don't think it wears off anytime soon, but I don't really care. You know, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna keep clicking rock slide. Also, Dracovich went before Eternatus, so that is 100% Scarf. Go ahead and Grass Knot that boy. And I'll just get rid of Eternatus. I'll just Gyro Ball it. It should be enough, I think. I guess I can just Rock Slide. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I am at plus one, but I'm not Wondrous. I'll just keep clicking Rock Slide. Because the next one will definitely KO. Grass Knot. That was good damage. Next Grass Knot KOs. Eternatus is asleep. Dracovish, you're still asleep. Don't wake up, buddy. <laughs> okay, bye, Reflect. Yeah, uh, good game. Grass not you. Gyro Ball you. Grim Snarl does not come in. Goodbye. Nice. Get that beast boost. And uh, this is going to KO. Hey, yo, the pizza here. <laughs> Falls. I think that was... Was that a Vine or a TikTok? I, that was either a Vine or a TikTok. Whichever one it was. Quality. Quality video. So applicable in many situations. Stegateka is always gyro balling. Respectfully. <laughs> Why am I sporing? Clear smog.
There should be an Iron Fist for kicking moves. I want to do some kicking. Kicking? I want to do some kicking. Zafranik, how you doing, man? Am I about to have the Pledge of Allegiance style? Am I, they're about to pledge the allegiance. They're about to pledge the allegiance. I feel it. Uh, yeah, Urshifu Water, you're my best friend. Forever and ever. I love you, bro. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. I legitimately see no reason to not or to bring the stack attacker. You might be saying, but that is a ho -oh. And I will say, I have an Urshifu Water with Mystic Water. Pretty sure it kills. Pretty sure. Let's do it. Yay, thanks for the follow. Whenever I hear the Neutron style, I've been watching a lot of Kengen Ashura, so I always think about like, ah uh, yes, the, uh, what's it called? The something style, the, the Nico style. I always think about that. Hey, who wants to take a, who wants to take a, uh, a bet? This is just gonna be Aqua Jet Weakness Policy. I bet you it's straight up Aqua Jet Weakness Policy. You know what I call that? Garbage. Call it garbage. Uh, if it's Sash, I could just Expanding Force. I think, I mean, Psy Strike does so much more to Ho-Oh. And I'm really not scared of Inteleon. Um, am I willing to Dazzling Gleam here? I think I'd rather just double the ho and get rid of it. I see no reason for Inteleon to really be all that threatening here. I'll lock myself into Psychic. As it withdraw the Inteleon, okay. Send in the Rillaboom. Let's see if I get this. This It isn't going to KO, but it's going to do a ton. This is going to be doing a ton. Like, nothing enjoys taking a Psy Strike from Mewtwo. Hey, thanks for the sub, J Money. How much is this gonna do? How much is the side strike gonna do? This is a modest side strike, by the way. <gasps> that's that's that good damage. That's that good damage. Please don't burn me. I'm Sash. Please don't burn me. <sighs> okay. Um. Lele looking pretty nice. Lele looking pretty nice. I mean, he has to choose who he has to fake out here. And I could always just force him into a situation where he's always wrong. I don't get KO'd by Grassy Glide. I think what I'm going to do here is just go into Incineroar and stay with my Lele. Possibly pick up a KO on this ho Because I would assume they're more scared of Mewtwo. Because they, they should Grassy Glide the Mewtwo or something. Like, that, that's that's right there. It's free. Hopefully they're not recover ho -Oh. That'd be annoying. Obviously they have a generator, right? They withdraw the hole. Uh, I'll call that Inteleon? Yeah, okay. This is going to be real good damage with the Inteleon. And I'm still Scarf. Grassy Glide? Yeah, that was on the Mewtwo. They, they were like, hey, that Mewtwo's, that Mewtwo's free. That Mewtwo's free. But they were wrong. They were wrong. R-O-N-G wrong. And uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say this Inteleon's free. Scarf Lele outspeeds unless it's Scarf Inteleon. I see no issue here. Fake out the Rillaboom. Psychic the Inteleon, it's, we're all happy people. We're all having a great time tonight. Yep, okay, yeah, they just gave me the Inteleon, which is awesome. That's awesome. Uh, one thing great about having teams that are so terrain-centric is that as soon as you remove a Pokemon from the other side of the field, it makes it so much easier to, to play the game. And that might be true for, like, every team, but especially on teams where you need, like, rain or terrain, you're fighting some kind of terrain or weather war, limiting the options of Pokemon that they can switch just almost like getting an early KO can almost secure you a win like turn one you know there's the Nido King sir 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 here sir <laughs> guarantee I mean I could probably just parting shot I, if, if I'm being real I can probably just parting shot here there's no way this thing takes a, a modest choice scarf psychic and he's also definitely not Scarf Nido King. And he's at minus one. No, no. Give me your give me your Nido King. Give me this. He's so short. Why is Nido King a short king? He's straight up a short king. Look at him. <laughs> and we're back to where we started. Mewtwo's gonna mess you up. 
Okay. I'll give them you two. Mewtwo, er, not Mewtwo. Needle King is a short king. We have to be real. Take a little bit of burn damage. Uh, I win just by getting back in Lele late game. So what I can do here is just switch out Lele for the um. Yeah, that thing's within Psy Shock range. I'd like to assume. Or Psy Strike. And I'll just get back in the Incineroar here, get that Intimidate. They shouldn't be able to win now. They just straight up shouldn't be able to win. Nido King looks like he wouldn't be uncomfortable wearing an Ed Hardy t-shirt and some, like, tight jeans. Can someone Photoshop Nido King in an Ed Hardy t-shirt and tight jeans? And also, thank you, Ash, for the resub. Psy Spam go burr. True. Hello, sir. My mind creates rocks, and now these rocks will be hitting you. Or that's Psy, that's Psy Shock. Psy Strike's cooler. He just creates an orb. The mind orb. Can someone can someone make an edit of this of this <laughs> stream where it's <laughs> where it's just me switching in the it's just me switching in the lele and then clicking Psy Strike and you just put in that audio from SpongeBob where it's like. We have the Orb of Confusion. Duh. I love that. I love that scene so much. The Orb of Confusion is my is my favorite SpongeBob scene of all time. Yeah, they just forfeit. No Orb of Confusion for me. All right, nice. I want to check the Solgaleo set. Hey! Shout out Poke Sports. Shout out Poke Sports. Is he streaming right now? That'd be cool. Okay. Um, I should be able to go Mewtwo Lele here. Mewtwo Lele kind of goes stupid. Cinema also looking really nice, really fresh, really baller. And I'm feeling the feeling the Amoongus. I'm really feeling the Amoongus in this matchup. Let's do it! Darf Lele plus Sash Mewtwo seems really good here. If he leads off with anything that isn't Venusaur, um, I think I just take the lead. Like, I think I always just take the lead if he does that. Alright, let's do it. He's probably sitting there like, why is he running Mewtwo? Why would this guy run Mewtwo? I'm running Mewtwo because I hate myself, man. Same reason I made the Giratina team. The Giratina team is unironically, like, usable, though. Like, it, it works. You can play with it. You can get away with it. It's not the best team, but you can get away with it. That's all you need. Yeah, we just randomly matched up with them. It's day one of the ladder, so a lot of us are still, uh, still not quite in Master Ball. Especially since a lot of us jump ship on Series 9 as soon as Series 10 rules got announced. So I'm still in Great Ball 8 this season. Because I just jumped ship immediately. It's been two months since I played. Unranked, I mean. In-game ball and respectfully, yes. Alright. Zacian Zapdos, I'll take it. I'll take it. So I am Scarf, so what I can do is click Dazzling Gleam Expanding Force, and feels pretty free. Feels pretty free. Uh, Psychic would still be resisted. The reason I'm clicking Dazzling Gleam Expanding Force and not like Focus Blast or Moon Blast or Psychic is strictly, strictly because I think that their Zapdos is going to be Sash. And they don't have terrain. Yeah, they don't have terrain. Defensively, we have a lot of options, too. So, Sir Siegel, thank you so much for the subscription. Or for gifting the subscription. Just on time, thank you. Alright. I'm going to Expanding Force here. I should be able to Expanding Force Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, I'm concerned about Sash Zapdos. Uh, 
That's fine. That's fine. Still good damage. I really hope they target my Lele. They go Mewtwo, that's fine. I actually didn't need the Sash, apparently. Good damage, good damage. Um... I think I go into my Amoongus and Dazzling Gleam again. Or do I give them Mewtwo? I think I'd rather give them Mewtwo. Because the Scarf Lalo looks like it's going to be like my bread and butter this game. Man, but I also can't go in Sin. That's just not safe. That's just irresponsible. I'm going to have to go Amoongus and give them Mewtwo. Did we draw the Zapdos? That's cool. That's fine. And then Gothitelle. Alright, I'm glad I did that. Humus Blade. Ooh, okay, I'll take this damage. I'll take this damage. I'm cool with it. That's good, good damage. That's that good, good damage. So they shouldn't really trick room here. They should always just attack. Um, I'm just getting expanding force again. Yeah. I'm expanding force again. I obviously can't switch out with this thing. Uh, it's my best interest just to grass not the Zacian in case they try to trick room, because then I just take that from them. And getting rid of Zacian this early is going to be huge for a team with Scarf Lele. Yeah, dude, I build my Amoongus bulky. Everyone's got to build a nice and bulky Amoongus. They just gave me the... They just gave me that. Awesome. No, uh, they probably predicted me to have Protect, but little do they know, I don't have Protect. I just don't have it, man. Can I crit this? I just don't have it. Is they Trick Room? That's fine. That's fine. Uh, should we be able to get an Incineroar here? Obviously, they can go into their freaking um, their Galarian Zapdos, but they're forced to protect this turn. Does that fake out? Does they go Venusaur? I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I'll start clicking Snarl immediately. Aggressively, in fact. Aggressively, I'm going to Snarl here. My main concern is if they do bring in the Mewtwo, so I'm just going to Expanding Force. I could also reverse the trick. Really nice. I could reverse the trick. Are they Sash Venusaur? Because this Flare Blitz would be nice. I'm not going to Snarl. I'm going to reverse the trick room. Because then I just went with Scarf Lele. And I'm going to Flare Blitz. They withdraw. Awesome. Awesome. Let's see if they Protect. Get nice damage there, nice damage. They were, they were predicting the Snarl. I was concerned about that though, so I didn't want to do it. Psy Shock, that's going to be into Mewtwo. That's fine. That's fine. Because I should just be able to lock myself into Psychic. Since I did like half to that um, Galarian Zapdos. Yeah, if I did half with Flare Blitz, I could also lock my... I should always lock myself in the Psychic. Realistically speaking, Psychic is my play. Just double the Zapdos. I always have to prioritize Zapdos here. It attack, that's fine. I don't care.
Psy Shock. Don't do too much. Alright, yeah, that doesn't do much. I think we win. Weirdness disappears. That doesn't really matter. In fact, I think it helps me more than anything because I take less on my Lele. I still double the Zapdos slot. They would have to have uh, Fake Out on Gothitelle and cycle in and out to position themselves in the way where they win. But I think my Flare Blitz is just barely going to be enough. Come on, be enough. Nice. Okay, I think that's game. I think that's probably just game. There's a Psy Shock. My next play is going to be to Snarl. I'm not going to Flare Blitz because... Actually, no. If they have Detect on Zapdos, they're Sash. They got to be like Sash, right? So I should be able to Flare Blitz this Venusaur. I'll just Psychic Flare Blitz, double target. Gothitelle has no way of hitting the um, the Incineroar, so Venusaur is my number one priority. I'm really hoping it's not Sash. I think they have to be Sash Zapdos. I think Sash Zapdos is so good that they can't pass that up. There's the helping hand. Ooh, you got Earth Power? You got Earth Power? Is that what it is? Okay, yeah, no Sash. We're good. That's game. Nice. Yeah, uh, earlier in the game, had I snarled on that Zapdos switch and I would have lost, but I'm glad I called that. Snarling was just a little bit obvious, and getting plus one on Zapdos when they outspeed so many of my Pokemon would have been... That would have been so bad. Nice. Good game.